So, welcome to a series of interviews called Why She Left It. So, I'm here with Rob and Martha. Rob, you're from America. Martha, you're from Latvia. What was it like growing up in Latvia? It's, uh, it's a really... It's a cozy town. It's really, it's like older town compared to Shaftio. It's a small country. We're only two million, so it's kind of you know each other, and it's really nice. It's beautiful, beautiful nature. There's a lot of stuff to do. So I growing up doing sports, and it was, it was really nice. Fantastic, Rob from America. What part? Uh, Syracuse area. It's a town called Colton, New York. So. Upstate New York. Okay, and what was it like growing up there? A uh, small town. It's probably right around twenty thousand people. Uh, kind of a industry town, so um, it's a mixture. Uh, a lot of rednecks, so <laughs> a lot of hillbillies there. Pickup trucks and camouflage. So okay, so yeah. you're right at home here. Oh yeah, then. Like, I you're feel right. right in. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. So why why she left me? I've got to ask you first, Rob. Yeah. No, let, let me ask. That's the lady first. Yeah. I follow whenever he goes, so that's kind of how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why she left you? Yeah, I got the job offer to come here and play for the AIK team. So, uh, great history in hockey, and um, you know they've they've had a really good recent history with the four championships, four finals in a row, two championships in a row. So I was when I got the chance to come here, I was all about the hockey. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen a lot of countries in the world. How many different countries have you been to? Uh, whew, Switzerland, Austria, Latvia, uh, Sweden twice now, so quite a few. I've been to uh, Canada. I lived in Canada when I was, you know, I was a teenage boy, so I've been around the world a little bit. Okay, and what about yourself? Um, I've been traveling around Europe quite a lot because um, I'm an alpine skier, so it's been everywhere like Italy, Austria, France, Spain, like pretty much everywhere in Europe and including the United States which was uh, Cancun, Mexico. Cancun, Mexico yeah. and Canada and you went Russia. Streaking and in, you're streaking in Mexico, right? No. <laughs> it was a fun time and it was a vacation there. So the state, what it's been, in I've been quite in a lot of people that what, what happens in Mexico stays, stays in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. I've never been, so I don't know. But, okay, so, Rob, you're a hockey player, and Martha, you're a skier. Yeah. Have you been skiing here? Yeah, we went um, a couple times, like three times. Um, last week we went to, I don't know what the You've name You've got to get place. it right so Really, now. really hard. It starts in B. <laughs> So that was really nice. This is a really nice slope. So it's not far from here. So I was really surprised. Like steep ones were like more my level, and then family tracks were all we went together, and it was really really nice. It's a good experience. So that's Big Zillium, if you yeah. had. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I learned to ski there. So Ralph is a skier, and Rob, you're a hockey player. Yeah. What's that like being a hockey player? Oh, it's great, you know, to see the world a little bit and play a sport. It's uh, pretty much a dream job. I kind of, what you want to do as a kid, and then I get to grow up and do it as an adult. Uh, yeah, it's just a game, so it's it's pretty cool. And then my uh, experience to be able to go and live in those countries, like I said, I'm from a small town with 20,000 people. It's usually, when you're from that town, you don't leave that town. You marry a girl from that town. It's kind of a, a little bit that way. So for me to be able to go out and see these countries, it's been a, it's a bit of a blessing. and get to see the culture and bring that back to my family. It's pretty cool. Sounds like she left you. Small town, yeah. people grow up together, get married, yeah. have Play kids. Your high school sweetheart. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it goes. It's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. Okay, so what's the best thing about being a hockey player then in a small town like she left you? I think you really get a, like a pulse of the town behind you when you're playing the games and the matches and uh, you really feel like uh, you're together and it's such a cozy feeling I guess and in the bigger cities you kind of go do your job the fans are there and then you go home and you know sometimes it's you can lose that feeling of intimacy with the fans you know it's a little bit different in a smaller town it's really what I, I think I've gathered is like the town is 
is hockey. It is school FDIK. So it's like they breathe it and live it. And um, you see all the little kids walking around with our logos on because they're playing in the minor team. So it's their dream to grow up and be on our team. And in the small town, you get that feeling. And uh, it's pretty unique. It's different. And it's, it's a lot of fun to be part of it when you're on a good team like this. Sometimes when you're in a small town and it's a bad team, I mean, you can't go to the grocery store without getting chirped or ripped apart about your bad game the night before. So it goes both ways. And fortunately here, there's a, there's a good team. So we, we get a lot of positive uh, feedback. Fantastic. Right, how long have you both been here then? How many months? September, we came at end of September, yeah. yeah. Okay, and what was the first thing then? You, you arrived in Shalefti, what was your first thoughts of the place? Was it, oh my God, where am I? Or, no. this is wonderful. So before we came, it was like Google, you go, going through Google Maps, when we were going through the town, how it looks like, and uh, Actually, it's better now when you get to know people and when you get to know the city that you understand like what's going on here and it's actually more fun because when we came here, it was, uh, we didn't know anyone, so it's like starting from nothing, yeah. you know, like you have no friends, like for me, girls, I just met like in a way, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. I knew about it because of playing here before and uh, I played for Moto for a year, so I knew what the, oh, okay. you know. When I first got here, it was like, well, it's bigger than Moto. Ernskizvik <laughs> is the name of the town, but I'm like, it's bigger than that, so yeah. we'll get by. But, I mean, Ernskizvik was really small. It was pretty tough. <laughs> Ladies always get homesick. What was the first thing you rang home and said about sort of Shalefti? Oh, my God, they've all got beards, they're really hairy. <laughs> what was it? To be honest, I haven't done it yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm wow. not really homesick. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, it's, uh, it's different. But um, I don't know. Maybe that my big thing that was, like, in a bad way, that's that daylight, that in November was really tough in December. Well, December yeah. less because it's Christmas time. But that was one of those first things. But there's not much, like, there's nothing, like, really surprising. Or it's just... Here, That's a really good sign. Being here, what, six, seven months and not rung home yet. <laughs> so, not missing, you're not missing home then. Yeah. No, not really. Have any of your friends been here yet? My parents came visit for Christmas and it was really nice because they always be like, you know, we have to spend Christmas as a family. So they came. So from Riga to Stockholm, they took a ferry and then this 10 hour drive or whatever that is to here. Wow. And, but it was okay, so it was pretty, it's pretty yeah. close and it was really nice to spend Christmas with them together. So the guys have been here seven months. It's time to find out what they know about Sweden and Shalefti. Right, quiz. Oh boy. It's gonna be A, B or C. First question, how many people live in Shalefti? Is it A? 52,000? Is it B, 62,000? Was it C, 72,000? We'll take an answer each. I got A. I got B. Final answer? Your final answer, final answer is? A. B. Okay, it was C. <laughs> 72,000. And that was um, on Wikipedia, so if it's wrong, don't blame me. I did my research. <laughs> Alright, question two. Vastabotten is the area. So Vastabotten is famous for, is it A, fish, B, cheese, or C, snooze? <laughs> you can't get this wrong or oh, the Swedes will never speak to you. I think it's fish. Okay. I know this one. This is beef. It's fish. <laughs> I've tasted it. It's really good. Yeah. No, it's cheese. Cheese? Really? Well done. Well, the fish is big here, so I figured. So there you have it. A little snapshot of Shalefti with Martha and Rob. Thanks for coming. Thanks for taking time out in your busy schedule. And good luck in the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. Taxi Mickey. Taxi Mickey. Taxi Mickey. Yeah. <laughs>